Oh, Asian doll say she fighting Mariah at the reunion, bitch. Then Bianca and Jayla go back and forth about Sapphire. And Bianca say Sapphire getting by a producer let's talk about it child so the international nothing aka mariah lynn honey got in a lot a lot of trouble because a couple episodes ago she had said asian doll was in the microwave for too long you out, bitch. Come on, show. Check it out, bitch. You was in the microwave too long, 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 bitch. That seems like a colorist statement. And it's ironic because Mariah was mad at Asian Doll for saying colorist comments. Well, in response to the backlash, the international nothing did something stupid, okay? She posts a picture of a melted cup and a picture of a woman that I'm guessing is Asian doll, implying that these two look similar. Oh, this is a repost. Well, same diff. Mariah was not being racist when she said Asian doll looked like she was in the microwave too long. This is a melted plastic jar in comparison to Asian doll. The jar does not look darker. It just looks deformed. Why would you post that, Mariah, when you and Asian Doll are cool? Y'all made up on the show. And y'all were all buddy-buddy at the premiere. So a fan lets Asian Doll know what happened. Let's not act like that body pic of Asian is not photoshopped. In Asian, your face was sitting pretty all four rounds. Asian Doll says, Now I'ma whoop that hoe again, internet ass bitch. Why are you reposting what fans are posting, bitch? Talk about somebody's body when she has ass shots herself that don't match. The fuck? That Photoshop ass pic looks nothing like my body. That bitch a hater. I beat that bitch up four times and closed her eye and the bitch wearing glasses for two weeks. It's nothing she can say that will make me mad, bitch. I beat you the fuck up, hoe, and had you crying and had your friend switch on you in your face. The biggest brat, bitch. Oh, Now I had your friend switch up on you in your face. So then the international nothing responds to Asian Doll and says, If we squash the beef and leave it there, because I thought we was cool after the premiere party, and I even respected it when we hugged it out. But I can't respect the social media shit. If I don't speak on you negatively, bitch, then give me the same courtesy. Asian Doll responds, I never spoke on you, Mariah. All I did was pop my shit in confessionals just like you. I can't help people are talking shit about the episode. People talk shit about me since I came in the game. I still got no problem with you, even though you and Bianca was out to make me look bad on national TV. So then in response, Mariah posts a video showing her eye after the fight. And she's supposed to let us know that it was not closed. But bitch, this is heavily filtered. And you can see the asymmetry, baby. But the caption says, I closed where? This was literally the day after. Let's stop the cap. And then after that, Mariah says, All this hate, and I just locked in a half a million dollar deal today alone. God works fast for his favorites. Girl, uh, I guess. Maybe she lied. You think she lied? Then Asian Doll responds, Lying saying your eye wasn't closed is crazy. Everybody on production saw your eye was big like a baseball. I hate liars, bro. Even though we squashed it, stop lying like I didn't beat your ass. You wore your glasses for two weeks, bro. I even told you to your face I feel bad for fucking your eye up. But since you want to be funny, I'm going to show you hilarious. Oh, I think I'm taking that one. You picked a fight and lost, bitch. Why is you not clocking out? Bitch was fighting air. If security wasn't there and steady wasn't breaking it up, I would have dragged Mariah all across that field. It would have never been four rounds. Bitch would have got ATL stopped out. Then the Asian doll responds to a fan question, and I actually want to know the answer to this too. The fan asks, So Asian ain't got no problem with everybody wanting Bianca to fight her? And Asian Doll responds, I addressed that jumping shit on the field. I said, any bitch jump me, I'ma tear this whole shit up. I said she lost that. The fuck? They didn't put a lot of shit I said in that field on camera, which is lame. That jumping shit went out the window once I spoke on it, but Zeus made it seem like that was a big issue. Whole time, nobody was jumping shit for real. Imagine hoes jumping me. Capital would have been pending God. Y'all know what's up with me? I'll never let no bitch play with me. They didn't air a lot of important shit I said in that field. Yeah, that's true. Zeus be editing a lot of shit out. And no lie, in my opinion, people were only saying Bianca should fight for Mariah because this was after Asian Doll mocked Mariah and they had observed, oh shit, this bitch can fight. Yeah, I'm not going to be the one to stick her for Mariah. Uh, let, uh, let Bianca do it. That's her friend, right? Except for Tzatziki. That's the friend that's not scared. That's what I'm saying. Like, Tzatziki is not a good friend to Mariah, like, at all. At all. But speaking of Bianca, she had some posts that she wanted to make. And Jayla didn't like what she had to say. But let's read. Main thing about being a real baddie is not being a dumb girl fighting and all that is part of a show for ratings. However, being smart and able to read the room, not allow anyone to control your emotions and being a real boss makes you a baddie. 
The platform Natalie has given me isn't for me to just promote little girls fighting, especially young black girls, it's to show them how to make a real bag and boss up. I almost laughed in the middle of reading that. Girl, you'd have snuck people and spit on people and threw shit at people. Like, and now you try to make it seem like you try to be a good role model to little black girls. Girl, bye. Jayla shares my same sentiments. She says, She snuck and spat on Sapphire, then refused to give her a fair fight after her shoulder heels. Bye, Bianca. Oh? Well, that is true. Sapphire was right there saying, yo, my shoulder's healed. Let me catch that fade. Let me catch that fade. Bianca's like, nope, nope, I'm not fighting you. Stop me. Okay. You spit. You threw your mic. You threw your water. Please, just come on. At least stand Reggie. up. I give you that. Just stand up. Okay, so now let me just, Bianca, just stand up. Now, let me just say this one thing. Her issue is that she doesn't want to keep feeling like she has to keep fighting you from the whole... She doesn't want to fight. Bianca's talking about, I'm done fighting, I'm done fighting. No, bitch, you ain't done fighting. Sapphire's on fix, getting the pain. She's scared. She said it, I don't fucking need it. Bianca, come on, please. You say you can fight. Bianca, come on. Come on. Like, you said it, I don't fucking need it. At that point, you pussy. And I'm not going to go hit somebody that's telling me they not fighting back if I hit them. I'm not, I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about it. You know what Sapphire should have done? Sapphire should have just spit on Bianca right then and there. I would have died laughing. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to fight. And then Sapphire goes, oh, you don't want to fight? Okay. <laughs> Sapphire wouldn't have been wrong because shit, she started it. Best believe Bianca responded. And she says, So what? I came in standing on business and ain't no rules in fighting. However, all that shit bitches tried on the show when I was by myself. Try it in real life when you see me. When it's not security and people y'all getting fucked by on the network protecting y'all. SMD. Bitch, my titties was one month old. You think I give a fuck about a bitch shoulder healing and giving someone a fight when they ready to fight? I do what I want when I want. I call my own shots. I'm not no puppet getting told to fight when somebody ready to fight me. My titties was never healed. I didn't say nothing about it. Plus, I fought someone way bigger than me multiple times. Like I said, SMD, whoever feel away. Her titties did look brand new. Bitches had to clink up because they couldn't do nothing to me. Fresh new boob job and braces on. Wig never came off. Face never got a scratch. Given trying to be bullies, not baddies. I don't refuse shit. I said, cut me another check. Same way y'all hoes on the show getting fucked for one. Oh. Sapphire getting fucked by an African-American male working for the network, so therefore it is favoritism and security be holding people's arms, not holding certain people, doing weird shit for certain people. And I'm not on that. Once they let me get snuck, everybody could SMD. Can't trust nothing. See me when I'm with my people. And that's that. Not Bianca saying Sapphire getting fucked by a producer. No lie, I can see it. I can see it because why the fuck is she back for Baddies Caribbean? Like, Nobody was like, ooh, Sapphire, like, yeah, we want her back. Da, da, da. She was never a fan favorite. In fact, a lot of people thought she was pussy for turning on her friend Suki. So I guess the only reason, to me, I mean, that seems like the only way that she would really be staying on the show. That or she's eating Natalie's cooch. Shit, maybe both. But Bianca, I'm not going to lie. It is bitch made for you not to give Sapphire her fade after you spit on her. Like, I just, you know... I just really think you should give it to her. Well, actually, that's not true. She got a fair one, and during her fair one, her shoulder got fucked up, and she had to put her shoulder uh, brace on. But then when they got into the house, Sapphire took her brace off to fight Bianca, and they literally fought like three rounds. So I kind of understand Bianca saying, I'm not fighting you again. And it's not Bianca's fault that her shoulder dislocated during a fight with her. But y'all, what do you think about Asian Doll and Mariah beefing on the gram, honey? And do you think that Bianca owes Sapphire another fade? Or do you think she's fought her enough? Comment down below.